New at five now, passionate Port Washington residents say once it's gone, it is gone. And they say they're doing whatever they can to protect their waterfront and keep it free of development. But developers tell CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan this housing is needed and will clean up an eyesore. There's some discontent in beautiful Port Washington, a hamlet on the North Shore. We're a peninsula. There's one road in, one road out. Longtime homeowner Etta Ramsdell and a coalition of voices are impassioned over the possibility of the first major residential development on their historic waterfront. And I'm like, okay, this is crazy. I live here. We have zoning laws. Why are we even talking about this? A luxury apartment building, seven stories with a public marina and public promenade. At 145 West Shore Road, please take a look around at this derelict property. The developers took us on a tour of the parcel they hope to build on. First up, removing hazardous debris. Behind us, we have over a thousand piles in the water that have a PCB in them called creosote. Steel cribbing. You have a dilapidated bulkhead. Sunken barge, truck tires. Joe Rossi says the eyesore would be transformed. The underused harbor welcoming 176 units, 3,500 for a one bedroom, 11,000 for a penthouse. 10% affordable component in the building. Uh, this is a much needed housing for, for, for this neighborhood. Developers say fears that West Shore Road will become a traffic nightmare. Schools and taxes impacted are unfounded. Seven story high rise luxury apartment that would not only pollute our waters, it would destroy this beautiful habitat. Petitions are being circulated. Inadequate stormwater planning for an underground garage. Opponents say they point to science. Fighting climate change means preserving natural habitat, limiting carbon emissions, and thus holding back on waterfront development. In the face of climate change, what we really need to do is retreat, not build walls. The development would be adjacent to hiking and biking trails, bird watching, parks that many were hoping to expand. It's a mosaic of habitats that is Port Washington's most ecologically important habitat. Listen to them and made changes and adjustments. We want to be a good neighbor. We intend to take this to the bitter end. <laughs> From Port Washington, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News.